Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Um, I have a little mini album I'd like to share with you today. I know it's been a while since I posted um, a video, but I had some like teeth surgery and it was just not, hasn't been fun for me. But anyway, this was a special order for a customer um, and she requested that I incorporate the color red because the bride was going to wear red shoes with her wedding gown. So um, this is what I came up with. I used the Bow Bunny Enchanted paper collection um, in the 12 by 12. I used the Stack the Deck binding system that Laura from uh, Laura Dennison from Following the Paper Trail created I think last year or whatever. So on the front cover I have some uh, flatback pearls and I have I cut this I says our wedding day I cut that off of one of the um, one of the papers it had a bunch of uh, sayings on it so I cut that one out. I mounted it on some little red glitter paper and then um, I had my niece, Jackie, thank you, make me some little lollipop flowers with some black satin. So um, I put that on the front and I added some little um, sparkly little uh, sprigs here with some tool behind it. And there's a little uh, brad from the paper collection inside the um, lollipop flower. So for the closure, it's a magnetic closure, so it opens like this. And on the inside... I cut the paper so the um, glittered word love would fit like right here on this inside cover. So I left that kind of plain. And I did incorporate just a little bit of red. I didn't want it to be over the top and have it look kind of burlesque. So it was kind of a fine line between elegant. So that's the look I was going for. So hopefully um, she'll like it. So what I did here is this is a chipboard piece from the paper collection. And it has a little saying about I love you yesterday, I love you still. And then I added some little... Um, red braid around the outside of the chipboard piece and put that there. All of my um, pages are created using um, the same tutorial that I have on my blog and I will put a link to that tutorial on how to create this uh, pocket page. It's really simple that you can use with the stack to deck binding. What I did since the paper collection was black and white, I alternated my, um, the, my base pages. So every other one is white. So I have a white page, a black page, a white page, a black page. And then on the white pages, I used black photo mats. And on the black pages, I used white photo mats. Anyway, just the opposite. So on the inside of this one, here's the photo mat for this. It's got the pretty glitter paper. And then the white on the back with the little script. So I kind of decorated the, the page front pockets, um, and you can put some small photos here, but the bulk of the photos will go on the inside um, photo mats. And I used my Stampin' Up! Tab Punch um, for this foil paper, and it's kind of like a hologram paper. It's got like big hearts and little hearts on it, so I thought that was kind of cool. So you flip it over, and then again, here's another lollipop flower that my niece Jackie made for me. And I put a little belly band with some... Um, braided satin trim and I put some flat back pearls in the middle and I added some little glitter ribbon behind the lollipop flower and this is a belly band and inside I have a little fold out and I punch the edges with the Martha Stewart I think it's a French scroll corner punch and you open it up and there's a place for a couple photos there so that goes back in there so that was a white base page so on this side is a black page right here I punched some little butterflies with the um, red vinyl hologram looking paper and that's a Martha Stewart punch and put those on the paper and then this is um, some little glitter frames that I got at Hobby Lobby and they're actually sticker frames but I left them on the acetate paper so that way and then I just added it at the top the adhesive so that way she can slide the photos underneath so I thought that was kind of cool and here is the photo mat for this one and it's oops sorry and it's black on the back Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera there. You can tell it's been a while since I filmed a video, huh? So on the back side here, um, I used a couple buttons from the collection and another piece of that little um, red glittery trim. And there's a chipboard piece right here. So you could put a nice photo here, and there is some glitter elements right here. And on this side, I added a piece of lace trim at the bottom, and I have three little rosettes that are from Recollections and some more of that little beaded sprigs. Another chipboard piece with a little saying on the inside. And here is the photo map for this one. Love the polka dots and the white scroll paper. And on the back side, I punched out some little flowers with the Fisker's Flower Punch with uh, the glitter paper and put some little bling in the middle. And I just added them along the um, glitter vine right here. There's some more glitter in there. 
On this side, again, I cut the paper so the glitter section would be right there, and there's some script behind it. I added some little black rose trim that has um, little pearls on the inside of every other rose. I thought that was kind of pretty. And I did glue it all the way down, but you can still put a photo here if you wanted. And then you can put photos here and photos here. Oopsie. And on this side, I went ahead and added some black lace trim that I got at Hobby Lab right here. Another piece of the red braided trim, a little chipboard piece, and a little small photo mat right here. On this page, I went ahead and used, I fussy cut this little um, die cut label out of the paper. It's got glitter around it. I put a chipboard piece in the center of it. And I only glued it on the two sides so it would make it like a belly band. And then I cut these two um, tags out of the paper. There's a column on this side with French script and a column on the other side. And then I added some um, eyelets and the red glitter trim. And there's the back of the tags. So I just stuck those inside. I thought those were kind of cute. And here's the photo map for this one. Some more of that yummy glitter paper. This paper is amazing. Um, it's got lots of glitter on it. It's very elegant, but it doesn't have to be wedding. It could be, you know, you could use it for other things, but I thought it was perfect for this project. On this back side here, um, I went ahead and fussy cut this little um, journaling spot out of the paper collection, and then I put it on top of a piece of the red uh, hologram paper just to make it stand out a little bit more from the, pa from the um, background paper. On this side, I went ahead and cut the word love out of... Um, the paper collection. I put it on some foam tape and just lifted it up to give it some dimensions. Some more of that braid and another button from the from the paper collection. And here's the photo map for this one. And on the last page, um, I fussy cut this circle out that says love is not a matter of counting the years but of making the years count. And I put that right in the center. I added some white satin um, ribbon here and then I made a little flower out of some white organza and put one of the brads from the paper collection on the inside. So this is the back inside cover. I really love the script paper so I kind of left it plain. I added a large chipboard corner piece here and a chipboard flourish here to this side and then um, a small little journal, little um, journaling spot here that has little wedding rings and a rose in the middle and I mounted it on some black hard stuff just to make it stand out from the script paper. So on, that's my mini album, wedding mini album. Oh, and on the back, I went ahead and kept it happily ever after from the um, paper and put that in the center of this little label that I fussy cut and stuck it in the middle of this paper. So that's the back. So that's my mini album. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I think she'll like it. It's just got enough red, I think, to make it pop. So there you have it, everybody. That's my mini album. Thanks for watching. Bye.